Welcome to Vlogmas. <laughs> Silent night. I only have one wish for the shooting star. Holy night. Send me someone to love so I What's up my chair bombs? On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing the perfect fragrances to wear on Christmas day, during the holidays. If you don't celebrate Christmas, you celebrate Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate, these are some fragrances that are perfect for the holidays. And if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and grab a seat, grab a drink. Oh no, the concert is three days away, so I definitely have my hot steaming tea because these vocal cords need to rest after today's videos that I'm filming. But after you grab that that drink go ahead and sit down relax and let's get right into this video I highly recommend to wear during the holidays is one of you guys's favorite brands it's from Lancome it's a iconic scent but I feel like this version of the scent is my favorite and it is La Vie Belle but this one is the extract version oh my gosh you guys this is so delicious top notes of fragrance scents red berries bergamot middle notes of iris palladide damask rose and base is Oud. Oh my gosh. When this dries down, it dries down to La Vie Belle, but with oud and that irisy note. It is so sexy. The fragrance scent is definitely there in the opening, but you guys, if you like La Vie Belle, but you want to stand out, the straight version is what you need for the holidays. Because during the holiday parties, you know, it's all about the glitz and glam. And I feel like people don't really focus on their fragrances. This is perfect, okay? You're not doing too much, but you're doing everything. When you enter a room, it will enter for you. It's a compliment getter. And people will be like, it smells familiar, but I cannot put my finger on it. That's what you want. If you're trying to stand out during the holiday parties and get togethers and you want to smell like your best self, this one is perfect. I really like it. And I think that it's perfect for the holidays. And of course, that bottle. Like when you show someone this bottle, like what do you expect? They're going to be like, yes, bougie, sexy, alluring, all of the above. Okay, this is perfect for the holidays, and I think that it will give you a bomb impression, especially if you're meeting the parents for the first time. They're going to be like, wow, this girl got a head on her shoulder. Especially with this bold fragrance, you really cannot go wrong. So La Vie Belle Extra is the perfect one to wear during this holiday time if you're a lover of La Vie Belle, but you want some oomph in your fragrance game. Keeping it in the same Lancome category, we have one of my favorites that I love wearing during this time of year that I'll probably be wearing this um, concert time, and it is Oud Bouquet. I'm really thinking of wearing Oud Bouquet to the concert. It has Agarwood Praline, which is Oud. It has um, Rose, Vanilla, Kayak Wood, and Gofu Balm. Or oh, I don't know what that is, but girl, just know that this is good. It's vanilla, it's praline, it's oud. Agarwood is oud. I love this. Oh my gosh, so sexy. Once it gets on the skin, you cannot disappoint. People that I know that says that they don't like oud are in love with this one. Every single time I put it on my skin, girl, boy, man, woman, child, adult, dog, anybody, they always give me compliments. They always want to be around me. They always sniffing me. This is such a beast mode fragrance that's going to get you all the compliments. That's going to have you standing out. You're, you're going to walk into the holiday room and you're going to be like, okay? Like you already know that you're going to dominate the room. Everyone's going to give you compliments. You're going to probably be overwhelmed at how much people are going to be like, girl, you smell so good. And a man can wear this too. I think what tops this fragrance off is that praline and the vanilla with the oud. This fragrance came out, there was not that much oud and rose combos with praline in it. This literally broke the fragrance game and I really, really enjoy it and I cannot wait to wear it. Obviously, you guys can see that I have a dent and the dent obviously would have been bigger. I always overspray, but because it's so strong and pungent, it's still here. It is beautiful. I can't get enough of it and I think that it is perfect for this time of year, especially if you're trying to make a first impression or if you're trying to stand out. I love this and it's perfect for the holidays. Now this next one is one for the girls that want to smell very feminine, like tonic, milky, creamy, warm, <sighs> welcoming, just super soft. This is the most prettiest 
comforting fragrance that you can wear during this time of year. I was wearing it in the fall time and I think it is perfect to wear right now. And it is Commodities Milk. You guys already know this. This is Vanilla Marshmallow Milk. Oh my gosh, it's so sexy. I don't have to really talk about this because you guys already know how I feel about this one. Milk is that girl. It was that girl in the fall and autumn time. And it's definitely that girl right now during the fall and winter time. I enjoy it so much that I feel like if it's your first time meeting the family as well, and you're more of a minimalistic type of person, but you still want to give a little bit something you know, you still want to give off a good impression. Milk Commodity is perfect. This is the expressive. So if you're very soft, you want to get the personal. That's like almost like a skin scent. If you pass by someone, they'll smell you. But if you want like a good balance between the two, don't get the bold because the bold is in your face. This one is the expressive and I think it is perfect for that perfect minimalistic girl that's super feminine. That's probably going to be wearing all white or beige or cream neutral colors that's gonna be having like soft, elegant makeup. Like this is kind of soft glam, but it's definitely more on the glam side than soft side. I'm talking about minimum five products on the skin with a pair of lashes and some clear lip gloss. This is that fragrance for you, okay? This will start a conversation. You will not disappoint with this fragrance. I feel like it is perfect for anyone that's looking for a lactonic, milky, fluffy fragrance and that doesn't wanna go bold like Oud Bouquet, but you still want people to smell you. This is perfect. Now this next fragrance is one that, it's not one that most people would like. Okay, you really have to be a gourmand and rose lover. If you have this in your collection, pull it out and sniff it. This fragrance is so good. I first heard Tiff Benson talking about it and she wore it on her birthday that year. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the perfect Valentine's Day fragrance. But then today I was thinking, I'm like, I've worn this during the holidays. I've actually worn it to a Christmas party and the compliments was endless. If you're trying to smell very edible but still classy at the same time, it's the perfect blend between gourmand and florals. Roses, chocolate. This is roses and chocolate. It has top notes of peach, black currant, mandarin orange, and bergamot. It had middle notes of dark chocolate, rose, and violet, and the base notes is vanilla, white musk, and cedar. I remember the first time I had my friend smell this, she was like, Mm, this is not it. I said, no problem. Spray it on your hand and walk away. And when you get home, let me know how you feel. When she got home, she texted me and she said, Abby, I ordered the bottle. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, it is so good. I love this fragrance. If y'all can see, I got this fragrance full bottle and look at the dent. It is so inviting. And I thought with the dark chocolate, I would not like it because I don't like dark chocolate in the first place. But Y'all, it's milky, it's rosy, it's fruity at the top, but then that instantly goes away after, I wanna say, like 15, 20 minutes. Then you're left with the rose and the chocolate and the vanilla. Oh my gosh. What makes this extremely sexy is not the rose, it's not the chocolate, it's not the vanilla. It's the musk with all those other notes. Ah, I don't know, like musk is so sexy to me. It's so alluring, it's so sensual. And paired with chocolate, roses and vanilla this is exactly how you want to smell during the holidays literally with a hot cup of chocolate it's so good it is so good it is so realistic at the same time so you could still get away with this if you don't like your mom's because of the vanilla and the floral notes in this the ultimate dry down smells like a milky chocolate so if you're looking for a chocolatey rosy vanilla musky fragrance for the holidays this one is it and i love it where are all my fig and tea lovers if you are still stuck in the summer springtime fragrances but you still want to wear something that is perfect in the fall time this fragrance is perfect it is one that i find so sexy and alluring and i don't know why most people don't like it because it's beautiful gris charnel extrait will do it every single time for me Every single time. It has top notes of cardamom, black tea, and fig. Little notes of iris, bourbon, vetiver, and cycus, incuses. I don't know what that is. But then it has sandalwood, Madagascar vanilla, tonka bean, cedar, and Indonesian patchouli leaf. Girl. Perfect for the holidays. Perfect for the holidays. If you like green tea, if you like fig, perfect for the holidays. I love this. Y'all, it's not the holidays. It wasn't even the holidays when I was wearing this. Come on. 
Come on, the dent is insane. This lasts so long on the skin. Oh man, talk about the most sexiest fragrance I've smelled in a long time. That's also on the fresher side, that's not a Grimond. Okay, because y'all know I love my vanillas. But like when you find something that's sexier and it doesn't have like a heavy note of vanilla, it does have vanilla in it, but the vanilla is not the star at all. The vanilla is just there for a tad bit of sweetness. You have a banger when you find something like that. And this is exactly what that is and more. I don't know, I don't know. Try it out, try it out. You already know that you can sample this via Twisted Lily using my code. You can get an extra percentage off of just a sample. And if you just wanna go ahead and pull the trigger, you can also use my code for that as well. But girl, talk about smelling like the best person in the room. Honestly, whenever I wear Grease Chanel, I know no one's gonna smell like it. Like, I know it. It's one of those fragrances like I could easily pick out to wear to any event knowing that I will stand out every single time. Cause no one's wearing this. Who's wearing it? Not that it's not bad, but it's because it's not common. It's not a crowd pleasing scent. It's not one that most people would gravitate towards or you know walk towards. It's a hidden gem and I really, really enjoy it. If you like black tea and fig, like I've been saying, this is perfect especially during the holidays. And if you think it's sexy on a woman, slap that thing on your man and thank me later. This next one is one that most people have in their collection if they love niche fragrances. This is the most authentic strawberry and caramel fragrance that I have in my collection. It's so luxe, it is so sexy. This is me in a bottle. This is me in a bottle, girl. If you have this bottle, you got a piece of me at your house, okay? La Capitale by Zhirzhoff. Um, The dent speaks for itself. My mom come here, she sprays this. Mark be sneaking this, going to work. Mark loved this fragrance and I'm in love with it. It has top notes of strawberry, caramel, peach, and labdanum. Honestly, they had me at the caramel and the peach and the labdanum and the strawberry. They had me at all of that, but then there's more. In the mid, you have leather, saffron, amber, ginger, and rose. When I saw that, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm buying this fragrance. And then when we get to the base notes, you have vanilla and benzoin. At that point, I was already trying to check out, but it was sold out everywhere. And then thank God, Twisted Lily sent this to me as a Christmas gift last year. Search La Capitale on YouTube. Don't find nothing bad about it. It is so good. It's so hard to explain the scent. This is another one that I was debating on wearing for the concert, but I've worn it so many times. I feel like, I don't know, like, I don't know, like it's my go-to fragrance when I want to stand out. Obviously anything from Georgeoff is going to have you standing out because their creations are super unique, but girl, the Shooting Stars line is a really good line. And I feel like if this came out in 100 bob, they announced that this is coming out in 100 ml today, I will be the first cluster, I promise you. So alluring, so sexy, perfect, perfect, perfect for the holidays. If you have this in your collection, stop the video because you're good, you're good. You don't need to watch anymore, you're good. <laughs> in 2021, I was looking for the perfect New Year's scent and while I was looking, I was looking, I found this fragrance. I sampled it and I found it and my husband bought it for me because I fell deeply in love with it. And, and when I got it, I got it just in time for New Year's. And when I sprayed it on my skin, you couldn't tell me nothing. I smelled like money. And I'm not talking about new money. I'm talking about old money. Tobacular by Dior. This has tobacco, tobacco leaf at the top. This has tobacco, tobacco leaf, honey, smoke, plum, oriental notes, amber, white tobacco, peach, and citruses. Simply put, this is probably the sexiest fragrance that's in the Dior lineup, hands down. The next one is probably Eau de Espahan. And then after that, I would say Fev Delicious. But the number one, in my opinion, and I've smelled a lot from them, Tabacular. You can never go wrong with this one. It is so sexy. This will last three years on your clothes. I have sprayed this on a blazer and a dress to go to a performance, and I dry cleaned it twice, and it still is on the outfit. It's sickly sweet, but it's not clawing at all. It's not something that you'll be like, okay, after four hours, you want to take it off. After four hours, you're like, oh my God, after six... Oh my God, after seven, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, the whole entire time. I love this fragrance and I think that it is perfect for the holidays. If your pockets can definitely go there, just go ahead and get this one. It is worth every single penny. You have to like tobacco, you have to like the note of honey, and you have to like ambers. It is beautiful. If you're looking for something that's gonna have you standing out, that's gonna smell, that's gonna have you smelling so delicious, tobacular. I'm thinking about wearing this again for New Year's. Now this next fragrance is probably the best cherry fragrance I've ever smelled. 
Duchessa by Gritty. Don't really have to talk about it. Y'all know it has the top notes of saffron, black cherry, bitter orange. Oh, shoot. Man, that smells good. Bitter orange and peach. It has the middle notes of clove, chocolate, and jasmine, and then the base notes of sweet almond, iris, and brown sugar. Such a sexy, alluring cherry fragrance. I just can't get enough of it. Can't get enough of it. That almond and that saffron, wow, wow. And the brown sugar, so good. Gritty did a good job with this one, and I'm not mad at it. This is my favorite cherry fragrance in my collection. All I gotta say about that. This is good, please sample it. And I honestly feel like it is unisex enough for any man and woman to wear. And I believe that it is line by worthy. Those are my picks for the holidays. Obviously Angel Shares could have been in this lineup too, but that was for Thanksgiving. During the winter time, I need stuff that is gonna be in your face. And Angel Shares is definitely in your face. These are the ones that I'm wearing this winter time. Comment down below what are some phrases that I probably didn't mention that you think that I need to get for the winter time. I'm super curious and let's continue the conversation in the description box below. You'll find everything in the description box below if I have coupons, which I feel like I do. I will leave the coupon codes right there for you so you can save extra with these purchases. Thank you so much for rocking with me this far. If you found value in this video, go ahead and hit it up with the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, chair bombs. <laughs>